this week on Engage the Sage. Hi everyone, I'm Don Saucer. Welcome to this week's episode of Engage the Sage. This week I'm going to talk to you about how not to start your classes. We have a great video today, we have a great lesson, we have a lot of practical recommendations. But, what if instead of telling you how great this was going to be, what if I started by saying something like this? All right, everybody. Thanks. Thanks for being here. Stuff today is going to be boring. Stuff today is going to be dry. We're just going to have to get through this together. If I started the video like that, all of you would stop watching. So please don't stop watching. That was just a demo. You would stop watching. You would know that's not a good way to excite your viewers about the video you're about to make for them. Unfortunately, this is how many of us start class. Many instructors start their classes like this. And I know this because students tell me this all the time. And I think we need to stop. I think when we do that, what we're trying to do is we're trying to relate to our students. We're trying to be honest with our students. We're trying to be authentic with our students. And these are all good things. But rather than connecting to them, what we're actually doing is disengaging them. If we start our classes with those kinds of statements that prime our students to disengage, then we're not going to have a good experience as instructors. Our students are probably not going to have good experiences as students, and they're probably not going to learn very well. At the beginning of class, you should not tell your students that that day in class is going to be boring. You should not tell your students that that day is going to be any less important than any other day. You should not tell your students that they're just going to have to bear with it that day and get through it with you. You should not apologize for that day's content by telling your students that it's going to be hard, that it's going to be boring, or that it's going to be uninteresting. You should not promise them that it's going to be better next time. You should not tell your students that you are unprepared or unexcited to teach about that topic. And you definitely should not either tell them or imply that you'd rather be somewhere else or doing something different. When you say or do any of those things, and instructors do this all the time, you disengage your students. You're going to set a negative emotional tone for that day, and you're going to get your students ready to be bored and confused. One of the best ways to have a bad day in class is to tell your students it's going to be a bad day in class. I think instructors do this because they're trying to be honest with their students. They're trying to relate to their students and commiserate with their students. But what they're actually doing is they're getting ready to disengage themselves and their students from that stage learning. And they're missing a wonderful opportunity for teaching and learning in that class. Everything we teach in our classes should be important, valuable, and exciting. If you can't identify the value of what you're teaching in class, if you can't find the reason that it's interesting to teach that in your class, then I think you really should reconsider whether or not you should be teaching that in your class. Everything we teach is something that we should be able to explicitly and clearly explain to our students as valuable, relevant, and interesting. And that is how we should start our classes. Rather than disengaging our students by talking about how dry or uninteresting something is, we should excite our students about that day's content. We should share with our students our authentic and genuine excitement about teaching our students that content that day. We should share with our students why we think that content is exciting and valuable. And we should let them know how this content is going to help them gain the knowledge and skills they took our class for. And we should absolutely lean into the applicability and relevance of that content for our students. At the start of every class, I want to encourage you to think about how you can engage yourself into that content and then share that engagement with your students. Our theory of trickle-down engagement says that as you're engaged as the instructor, it's going to increase the engagement of your students and they're going to learn better. Recognizing and applying that theory of trickle-down engagement Getting ready to engage yourself as the sage is going to make for a much more meaningful and valuable learning experience for your students. When you prime your students for engagement, you're setting them up for better engagement themselves and better learning. And I think this is something we can do intentionally every single day that we teach. I recommend you use cue statements to convey to your students your engagement in the content during that day. Cue statements that are going to help engage your students might be things like, hey, this content is really exciting. This part is really important. This method is really creative. We've got some really cool stuff today. You're going to find this next part really applicable and relevant. This next part is awesome. We can use cue statements like that to prime 
our students' engagement by telling them about our engagement in the content. And we can not only do this at the beginning of the class, but we can insert key statements like that periodically through the class to keep those initial levels of engagement high. We have wonderful opportunities for teaching and learning in every single class. No matter what the content is, that content is interesting, important, exciting, and engaging. And by leaning into that for ourselves, we can help lead our students to be better engaged in that content too, and to have better experiences learning with us. So at the beginning of our classes, I think we should prepare and prime our students to engage. In the comments below, I would love to hear how you start your classes in ways that engage your students. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Engage the Sage. Please like, subscribe, sign up for notifications, share us on social media, and we'll see you next time on Engage the Sage.